How do you do, folks? This is the old mountain man I'm talking at you from the back side of this here lake in the hills of Arkansas. Well, we got to thinking about this whole magnesium thing and how much heat maybe magnesium can take before it does ignite. So I figured I'd go back to the tree stump. The one that I did whenever I did the video of light work with the mountain man. Burn down a tree stump with magnesium. A little bear, get out from under my neck, silly. Or my arm. So, here I is. I got this. This little block here. Which, a piece, this little piece here, and it's got that nice shiny side, which I will be applying the the flame too and I got the torch and since I did do this here stump oh let's get the camera up here and get it alright there it is stump didn't burn out all the way and I've already burned a little bit on it today just to see you know I took the piece that I drilled piece of magnesium that I drilled in that other video and I went and put it on this stump. Got it going because there was an ant hill here and the ants had danned up in it. So I figured I'd just, you know, take that piece that I drilled, put the torch on it, see what happened. It took a few minutes. But I didn't get it on film. <laughs> didn't get it on video. So, I think I'm going to get that milk crate that Jerry Fritt brought over here. Yeah, I should have got that a while ago. Mr. Jerry Fritt is providing the uh, camera stand equipment today. <laughs> yeah, here it is. Yeah. And there's my fancy camera stand. Yeehaw. And I think a safe distance would be uh, oh let's see right about here and get the uh, the tree stump in view get everything centered alrighty let's see here let me take the take that magnesium piece that right down Let's get a close up here. <clears throat> got the uh, got the torch right there, blasting away on the magnesium. Get a little angle. There's a different angle here. Now, 
guys. It's pretty close. That's right there on it. Last in the lane. And whenever it starts to pop and everything, I'm gonna move the move the camera out and move everything out of the way. It's heating up. Let's see here. Yeah, it's starting to blister a little. So I can get that around. what's going on. I don't know if you can... The webcam's picking up that detail off that flat, shiny side of that magnesium or not. And here comes the sun. The clouds parted just for a little bit. But it's starting to blister. It's starting to blister. It's blistering on top, starting to bead up. It looks almost like, uh, almost like mercury beads. Almost like it's sweating or Adjust it up a little. Get a little more heat on it. A little more heat. <laughs> I had to, well them sparks is jumping, jumping over this away. And now something, 
<laughs> Took a considerable amount of heat to get that thing going. Exposed to uh, open flame of a butane torch. Full tilt buggy. Well, how I you y'all seen I had to increase that that heat on that thing. I had to turn that torch up so this video wouldn't run for no 20 minutes. Whoa, oh boy. I swear. But no, I, I didn't shoot this video to do any real work. I just shot it just for the just for the sake of showing you it takes a whole lot more heat than what a drill or a chop saw or anything else like that to take to set magnesium off. Oh boy. Now I'd been on my brain for a while to do this because it really didn't prove a whole lot with the drilling video other than I could, you know, wear out a bit. I could wear out a drill bit. Uh, holy schmoly. <coughs> yeah, and in that other video, the drill bit pulled out of the daggum drill, and then I had to stop. But there it is, folks. Propane torch, little block of magnesium. And a little piece will take just as much heat as a big piece will before it finally goes off. And there's my beloved pooch, little bear. You're a little bear. Little bear. What are you doing, little bear? And you're a happy boy. You ain't got no more worms, do you? Old man then gave you 2,000 milligrams of red pepper today. You just perked right up, didn't you? Yeah. And gave him about a thousand milligrams of sulfur too. I figure sulfur. Give him the sulfur capsules, about a thousand milligrams of that, and I pack these these uh, capsules myself. And gave it to him. I figure the sulfur, once it gets in his system real good, it'll come out on his skin as a powder, and the fleas and the ticks won't be wanting to bite him so much. Well, folks, I did what I did. Oh, I did what I wanted to do for this video. So I'm going to get off here, get this thing uploaded. Y'all take care now. And remember, be good to yourselves, be good to each other. And uh, if you got something to prove, put it on video. And if other people don't like it, and they get their little feelings bruised, well, boo hoo hoo. You know? Write your congressman or tell your mommy. <laughs> I'll talk with y'all later. Adios for now. I got to get back to my chores. Take care, y'all. Bye.